Hi everyone, Kat here. Today I am going to be making some Asian sausages. My version of Lao sausages without using any casing. Very simple, easy and delicious recipe. Okay, so what I have here is some uh, chopped up or ground um, pork shoulder meat and pork um, belly, thigh pork belly. Okay, and as you can see, there's big chunks of the fat. Um, I used a food processor, it didn't really break it down, but that's okay, it's still gonna work, okay? So you wanna have it like this consistency, if possible, all right? So also, you'll be needing some lemongrass, garlic, kalanka, kapha lime leaves, cooked jasmine rice, packet of NAM powder seasoning mix and MSG, okay? Okay, let's begin. Let's put all our ingredients. Garlic, lemongrass, galanga, the cup of lime leaves, um, thinly minced, okay? Get the, our logo um, lamb powder seasoning. MSG. And our cooked rice. And then you want to thoroughly mix this all in. Make it combine them all thoroughly. Mm, you can smell the herbs, the lemongrass, garlic. Okay, so you get the idea. Make sure that you just thoroughly mix everything together, okay? Okay, so this is thoroughly mixed. I did add another half cup of lemongrass and one more tablespoon of MSG. Um, the seasoning is really all up to you. You can add more or less of any of the seasoning that I added in here. Okay, and if you also want to make it spicy, you can add some chili powder flakes, okay? Um, I'm not gonna add any into mine because my family can't eat spicy. All right, so once you have it all thoroughly mixed, you wanna shape it into like a sausage, <laughs> like so, okay? Make it as big or as little as you like. Just form it into, like that, okay? And do this for the rest of it. Okay, once you have it all shaped like this, what you'll need is some saran wrap. Okay. Like the size of a ruler, a 12 inch ruler. Pick one of these, put it in here, and roll. Okay, like that. Twist the end. And tie it into a nut. Okay, like that. Make it tight. And tie the end of the nut into a nut. That. Okay, one more. Roll, roll, roll. It's like rolling a blunt. A big fat one. <laughs> if 
If you don't want to tie into a knot, you can also use a, a tape, tape the ends. But this is easier. here it is all wrapped make sure that it's tightly wrapped that's very important because if you wrap it too loosely it's not going to stay intact and it's going to fall apart when you cook it so make sure that it's tightly wrapped okay so now what you want to do is refrigerate this for um, 24 hours or until it's hard enough for for us to cook without it falling apart okay so Refrigerate it, cover it, refrigerate it. Or if you like your sausages to be sour, you can also um, leave it um, over the counter overnight or until it's sour to your liking. Okay, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna put some in the fridge and leave some out. All right, we'll check in 24 hours. Okay guys, welcome back. It's been about 15 hours. It didn't really actually took 24 hours, less than that. So 15, 15 hours, I checked and it was ready and I cooked some up in my um, air fryer. You can cook it using the regular oven or grill it on a barbecue grill. Um, however you wanna cook it, that's up to you. I happen to have an air fryer that works great. So let's see what it looks like, all right guys? Let's get my tongs. I can still hear it sizzling. So, of course, you got to remove the um, the saran wrap before you cook it, okay? Don't forget to do that because you don't want to cook plastic. <laughs> nice and golden, okay? Check that off. All right, now, we cut it in and show to you what it looks like in the fork. So I cooked um, one of each, the one that's been um, in the fridge and the one that's not in the fridge, okay? Ooh, it's gonna fall apart because we don't have a casing, but guess what? It's still gonna taste great. At least it didn't fall apart as it was cooking. That's the important part, okay? So, ooh, it's very hot. Still juicy mm, and delicious. Same thing for the one that is sitting out and not refrigerated. Maybe I'm using the wrong knife. I'm using a regular knife. Oop. Doesn't matter what knife I use, it's still gonna fall apart. The bread knife works better. Mmm, the aroma. So smelling good right now. Just eat it with some rice. Oh, why is it not focusing again, camera? Come on. There you go. And there you have it, folks. Asian sausage without casings. Mmm. Some rice. Yummy, yummy, delicious. One of them has a little bit more sourness to it, so it's very flavorful. And the other one is the one that's been refrigerated. It's like your regular sausage that's not sour. So. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you will give this recipe a try and let me know if you like it. Thanks. Bye. See you.